So I've got this face that's been generated on Mid Journey, which is an AI art platform, and it just doesn't look good enough for me. There's just something not quite right about it. I want to make it look more like this, or even make some adjustments like what you see here. So how I'm going to do that is pretty straightforward. I'm going to head to this website here, it's Hugging Face. We're going to use a tool called GFP GAN. Now there's this one and there's a more detailed version of it, but I'm just going to cut straight to the chase and show you how it works. And the link to these resources will be in the description below. I simply upload my image by clicking here. You can see there's a, some funny funny stuff going on with the eye here. It doesn't quite look right. All we need to do is choose which version. Generally, we'll go for the later version because it'll probably do the better work. We can also upscale this entire image as well. We're just going to make it twice the size and we click submit. And after waiting a few minutes, this is the result we get. And that's pretty good, especially compared to the original. It's not perfect, but pretty good and definitely much more usable than what we had. And if we're happy with that one, we can go down here to the download button and download our file. But if you're not happy with those results, you can go straight to the GFP GAN uh, tool itself, which takes away this sort of user-friendly interface. And uh, there is also a link to this in the description below. But you'll end up on a page like this. It might have a white background. It might not have the gray background, but uh, it's a little bit more involved. And the way it works is we scroll down and once you've landed, you just got to basically go through the steps. I've got to click the little play button here, and it's going to give me this uh, warning. I hit run anyway. And now we wait for a few minutes while this processes, and we wait for the green tick to show up to the left. You can see the green tick has been done, has shown up, so now we scroll down. And you've got this section here, upload images or use demo images. So you can actually upload your own images here, or you can skip this one and go down to or for number three. But I'm going to click the little play button here. Once again, we'll wait for the tick. But while we're waiting, we now have this button. We can choose a file. I'm going to choose a different face. Or we'll choose the same face to see what difference in results we get. Click OK, open. And then we just wait for this to finish doing what it needs to do. A little tick is there. So now we scroll down past this section where it says or because that's just for demo images. And then we get to number three. We click play again. And now we can scroll down once again and finally we get to number four where we get to hit the play button and it's going to produce previews of the faces for us before it produces the full image we scroll down and i can see we've basically got the same result but you sort of get the idea you can try both if you're looking to try something different see if you get a different result but if i'm pretty happy with that i can just scroll down to number five i click play and it will produce a download for me. I can now download my zip file with my images. Check it out from there. Now, there is also another option using Photoshop. It's probably not quite as good, but when you combine the two, incredibly powerful. So I've got my original image here, and I'm gonna go up here to Filters and to Neural Filters. And I've got here Smart Portrait, which I can turn on. And you can see we've got our image over in the left here, but I can actually do things like change the eye direction and it will actually produce new eyes. Now these eyes might be more suitable than the ones we created in GFP GAN, and you can also go ahead and touch this up. And you can do the same with the GFP GAN images and the original. You can overlay them on top of each other and remove and add certain elements. The other thing too is we can also do things like change the hair thickness and the facial age, and really take this image to a different sort of level. We can also make this woman look a bit happier, and you can see we start to get a better result that way as well. Although I'm not 100% happy with the hair, so I might put it back to what it was. But you sort of get the idea. We can click OK and that's our image. But what we can also do if we want to get the really good results is drop in our GFP GAN image and do the same thing again. So filter, neural filters. And we're going to look at a few more options here to show you what you can do. So once again, we turn on Smart Portrait. We can make the happiness all the way down. She looks a bit too sad there, so we crank that up. Maybe we make her a bit older. We can also go down here, once again, change the eye direction. And that has also fixed the issue with the eyes. And the eyes are even better now than when we used it by itself. And then we also have things like expressions. I can get her anger right up and make her look really angry or all the way down the other end. Surprise, we can put the surprise up. And then we have these other settings here, head direction. We can turn the head one way or the other. Fix head alignment, although there's no body, so. <laughs> You also apparently change the light direction. You can go through and play with these settings until you get something that looks a bit more like what you're after. So now we've got this image, which if we compare to our original image, 
is definitely a lot cleaner and a lot better. And you can do this with a bunch of other images, get a bunch of really cool results, and it's pretty straightforward and easy to do. Now, if you've got Photoshop, that's great. If not, GFP GAN is free, uh, especially if you do the interface with the when you're pressing the play buttons, things like that. So check that out if you're looking to fix some of the faces on your uh, AI artwork. And I hope that has helped you out and given you something to work on to improve your art. So thanks for watching the video. Hope to see you again soon. If you like the video, give it a like. Otherwise, see you next time.